He's known as the Greek Robin Hood and is currently a fugitive who has escaped twice from a high security prison by helicopter. Despite being a criminal, he has achieved fame and popularity for giving most of his money to the poor and claiming not to have physically hurt a single person during his crimes. Vasily Paliokostas was born in 1966. He grew up in a small village on a mountain in central Greece. After growing up in the mountains, he did not have much in the way of education or skills. One talent he did possess was knowing how to steal, and he did so to earn his living. After moving to the town of Tricola at the age of 13 with his family, Paliokostas and his older brother were allegedly responsible for 27 robberies. He was a petty thief until he and his brother met another thief, called Costa Samras, but known as The Artist. The Artist was a more experienced and sophisticated robber, and the three of them moved on to raiding jewellery stores and banks together, doing so for most of the 1980s. Palio Costas was very difficult to catch because of his relationship with money. He gave his money to the poor. He was particularly generous to anybody who would help him or shelter him. He also lived like a peasant, without any flashy possessions that would garner the attention of the authorities. Palio Costas's brother was jailed and in 1990 Palio Costas himself was arrested for driving a stolen tank through a prison wall to try and rescue his brother. In 1991 he escaped by using bedsheets to climb over a wall to freedom. In 1992 they raided a bank, taking £360,000 worth of currency and cash. It was the biggest cash robbery in Greek history. As they were being chased by the police, they threw some of the cash out of the windows of their getaway car, causing pandemonium in the streets. With the popularity of credit cards, the amount of cash held in banks was reduced. More security measures were also introduced. Paliokostas moved from bank robberies to kidnapping. In 1995, he kidnapped a billionaire factory owner and demanded a ransom of 260 million drachmas, which is about 1.2 million pounds in today's money. The ransom was paid and the businessman was released. He distributed some of the money to local farmers, orphans and the homeless. Four years later, the authorities eventually caught Paliokostas after he crashed his car and suffered a head injury. He was sent to a prison on the island of Corfu, but was transferred to a maximum security prison near Athens after guards discovered plans of the jail in his cell. Paliokostas was seven years into his 25 year sentence in 2006 when he was involved in a prison breakout. This time his brother was coming to help him. He and an accomplice hijacked a sightseeing helicopter and forced the pilot to fly to the prison at gunpoint. The guards thought that the helicopter arriving was a visit from prison inspectors. By the time they realised it was a breakout, it was too late. Paliokostas and his cellmate had jumped in the helicopter and flown off. They flew to a nearby cemetery where they transferred to motorcycles and continued to flee. Paliokostas was recaptured two years later in 2008 after being tracked down following another kidnapping of a billionaire businessman. The ransom was reportedly 12 million euros. He was returned to the same prison in the same cell. The following year, Paliokostas escaped from the jail by helicopter again. A helicopter was again hijacked, this time by a glamorous woman who with a machine gun and a hand grenade forced the pilot to fly to the prison. Rope ladders were lowered over the prison courtyard and Paliokostas and his cellmate climbed up them to get on board. They left to the sound of gunfire from the prison guards and cheering from the other inmates. The woman fired back with a machine gun, but no injuries were reported. The guards did manage to shoot and hit the helicopter's fuel tank, and they had to make an emergency landing before escaping in a getaway car. Since then, Paliokostas has stayed on the run. There have been epic manhunts to try and find him, but all that's been discovered are banknotes containing the serial numbers from his ransoms and bank robberies. He continues to be Greece's most wanted man, continues to give millions to the poor, and continues to be a folk hero among many of his countrymen.